This is Brian Castles for Lattice Semiconductor. In this video, I'm going to go over some of the changes in the Lattice Diamond software relevant to simulation compared to ISP Lever. The Lattice Diamond environment has been optimized for uh, an implementation flow. So some of the changes are that if I look inside my project list, all the source files that are allowed in here are modules. Test benches are no longer allowed as source files. One of the motivations for doing this is to move the management of test files to where they belong in the simulator. However, there are a number of benefits of doing this. For one, if I take and add a new source file here in Diamond compared to ISP Lever, so I can do it from the uh, file, uh, new file list, or I can just go right to my implementation and say add new file. And let's select, uh, say, a Verilog file and I'll just give it a temporary name and I'll open it. You notice that it just created the file directly so I did not have to decide whether it was a module, whether it was a test bench. I saved a lot of time by just implementing it as a module. So let's close this. However, a lot of the capabilities that you could do with simulation in ISP Lever, you can still do here in the Diamond software. So let's take and generate the hierarchy of the design. And here you can see the, the general hierarchy, but if I go to my hierarchy tab, and let's say I select the top level of my design, you see here I can still take and uh, generate a test fixture template. So I just select that and you can see that it did generate a template for me. So I can still generate test bench templates just like I did in ISP Lever. Then once you've taken and fully implemented your design, uh, we give you a very easy and fast way to actually export the design to a simulator from Diamond directly. So in the Tools menu, you can go to the new Simulation Wizard. In the Simulation Wizard, it brings you through a series of steps to export your design to a simulator. So let's create a, uh, now this is a project name for the simulator. And you can see I can uh, select the location for it. I can select which simulator. This is dependent on what simulator you have installed on your machine. So right here we just have uh, Active HDL installed. And then I can select which level to export. So typically after you've implemented your design, you want to do uh, post level, uh, gate level, netlist, and timing. Um, I can do VHDL or Verilog for it. And then go to the next step and it tells me uh, what source files are going to bring out and I can optionally copy those source files to the new simulation directory and then it tells me what it's going to take and run and I can optionally run the simulator so I can just export the information or I can export it and launch the simulator. If I take and do this it will take and now uh, not only export the design but invoke the simulator tool and here it's, it's launching Aldec Active HDL Now the simulator has been launched and uh, it's available. It has the new design loaded in it. What you need to do here is to add the uh, test bench file directly into your simulation project. And then once you do that, you can take and run your simulator normally, uh, depending on which simulator you want to take and run. So it's a very uh, simple, easy to use flow. It is a little different than ISP Lever in that you do not use the test benches directly in the Diamond project, but it gives you increased capabilities in terms of making uh, adding files easier to the design flow in Diamond and gives you a expanded way to export your design to the simulator via the simulation wizard. So I hope this gives you a brief overview of the simulation differences between uh, Diamond and the older ISP Lever software.